Hello everyone, Wampit here. So, Seattle has a lot of tight ends on its roster currently. So, on the roster they have Greg Olson, Jacob Holliser, Will Disley, Luke Wilson, Tyler Mabry, Colby Parkinson, Stefan Sullivan, and I think that's it. But they do have a fair amount on the roster. Obviously, they're not uh, beating the Bears, you know, record, because the Bears have like 30 tight ends on the roster still, even after trading one of them. <laughs> but some people have been critical of Seattle getting these tight ends, but to me, you really shouldn't be. Greg Olson will be a free agent next year, and he's had an injury history, but he's also an effective tight end, you know? And he had a pretty decent season with subpar quarterbacks throwing at him. Jacob Hollister, a purely receiving tight end, but he does try to block, you know, the effort is there. But he's just kind of a smaller tight end. And, and it's kind of an issue because in a few games last year, you know, he would get whapped or hit kind of hard. And then it would look like he was injured, but he wasn't, which is good. But it's still, you know, you don't want to see a tight end look like he's going to have to get off the field every time he hits hit kind of hard. Will Disley, a uh, young tight end who's had an injury history. I do have a video breaking down what I think about Will Disley. So yeah, probably up in the top corner. Tyler Mabry, a blocking tight end. That's what he's known for. He was undrafted. I don't know much about him, but I know he was signed for his blocking. Luke Wilson, fan favorite. However, he is getting kind of up there in age. You know, same with uh, Greg Olson. And Luke Wilson did contemplate retirement last season. And I think he has been kind of injury prone. Stefan Sullivan, a tight end Seattle says they're going to use pretty much as a big wide receiver. We'll have to see how that goes. And maybe he is used as a tight end. You know, fully as a tight end. Or maybe they do use him in more of a receiving role. And then, I think last but not least, is Colby Parkinson. Colby Parkinson, I th he was a fourth round pick. Um, not really known as a great blocker, you know, he has the effort. But he is known as a big athletic guy who can catch. You know, kind of like Jimmy Graham, I guess. You know, he's younger than Jimmy Graham. And maybe they use him as a red zone threat. You know, I mean, it's just another young guy to add to the roster and to help back up the other guys. And I definitely see him getting playing time. However, he did injure his foot. I think it was a Jones fracture. And, you know, he might start the list season on PUP. All right, so... He, Colby Parkinson injured his foot, broke it, so hopefully it heals up. So, I mean, I would say that Seattle definitely needed to put some youth in the tight end room and add some, just some veterans too, because last year 
Will Disley got hurt. Ed Dixon wasn't healthy and missed the whole season, I think. You know, and then Jacob Hollister was pretty much your starter for a lot of the year. And Luke Wilson was hurt part of the year, and then I don't know if he got that many snaps. So yeah, I mean, I like just adding depth because last year, you know, Jacob Hollister was your go-to guy. And there's, I have nothing against Jacob Hollister, but it's just they kind of needed an upgrade, I would say. So anyway, yeah, I mean, Seattle has a lot of tight ends. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe.